Fifth Harmony is about to throw down and battle it out on one of music's biggest shows. And Tyga is still in love with Kylie Jenner, plus he doesn't think Travis Scott is the father of her child. I'm not surprised by any of this. Oh my goodness, <laughs> and thanks to Logan Paul, there are now video games based on his infamous Japan vlog. Oh my gosh, I can't even with this one. We're talking about these all right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. What's up guys, welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Devin Howard. First things first, we are talking about Fifth Harmony because we got to see some teasers for this week's episode of Lip Sync Battle. And it's basically just gonna be a Fifth Harmony showdown. <laughs> and I'm so excited for it. So Me too. Normani is going against Lauren and Dinah is going against Allie. And we kind of got to see one of the numbers that each of the girls came up with. So first we saw Normani sing Bootylicious. Um, of course, she channeled her inner Beyonce and it was Love amazing. It. She told LL Cool J that she's been waiting to perform this since she used to practice it in her grandma's living room. That's so cute. Which I think is so cute. And Normani always talked about her relationship with her grandmother on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. We know they're really close. So I just think it's great. She's like, I'm so happy Lip Sync Battle gave me this opportunity I know. to be my Beyonce. How cute. And if anyone. And personating Beyonce is no easy feat. Oh no, not at all. But I think she can definitely do it. I completely She's agree. She's gonna kill it. And Lauren Haragi took on Amy Winehouse and her impression of her is almost scary. Wow. It is nuts. She has the hair, the body, the walk, everything. It even left Chrissy Teigen speechless, which in order to do that, it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. No, it has to be good because Chrissy Teigen always has something to say about everything. This is an unexpected impersonation mm -hmm. for, for me. Like Lauren and Amy Winehouse, they seem pretty different at first, right. but I think it, it oh, was, worked man. so well. The makeup people made it look perfect. Love it. Um, Allie impersonates Selena and Jennifer Lopez, while Dinah makes all of my Disney dreams come true. <laughs> I know you love Disney too, Devin. And she sings a song from Moana. Cute. Who do you think is gonna win? Gosh, I don't know. Maybe Lauren? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking Normani's going to bring it home. Yeah? I don't know who's going to be. Obviously, if someone goes for Disney, I always have to vote for the person who sings Disney. That's true. But the episode airs on Thursday, so I'm excited to see who wins. Yes. We'll um, and just, you know, a continuing on with the theme of games, it appears Logan Paul and his Japan Suicide Forest Fog have inspired a few video games. Ugh. Oh, I know. I I don't even know, have any words. So first we're gonna talk about Kylie and Tyga. So okay. stay tuned for that we Logan Paul news. We do have words for this. Yeah, yes. we do have words for this. <laughs> Hollywood Life is reporting that Tyga is still in love with Kylie Jenner and he wants to take over Travis Scott's responsibilities. The source said, quote, Tyga has offered to stay with Kylie in the final weeks of her pregnancy. She is reluctant as she thinks that Travis should be the one handling the responsibility. Oh, really? But he simply hasn't been around much lately. I can't believe it any I'm, of this. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. All right, Tyga, like. <laughs> let's relax here for a second. Then the source went on to drop a bomb and say, quote, in his heart, Tyga still feels there is a decent chance that he is the father of Kylie's baby. What? And he let Kylie know that he wants to be the one to drive her to the hospital when her water breaks. Wait, this is like, Tyga, no, it's not your baby. Like, let's just accept that for now. But like, stop volunteering to like, do these fatherly responsibilities. I, I know. It's not yours. It's like, let's just wait till we figure things out. I've always kind of said that part of me thinks there is a possibility that Tyga could still be the baby because they weren't broken up for that long. Yeah. And anyone who's broken up with an ex knows sometimes you kind of like, you know, slip back into your old habits every once in a while. <laughs> so, I mean, who really knows? But I don't know if he's crossing a line. The whole driving to the hospital thing, that's a little bit much. I know. But it doesn't sound like a reconciliation between these two is totally out of the cards because the source went on to say, quote, Kylie would give Tyga another chance down the line if Travis doesn't get his act together. And if Tyga keeps up his persistence, excuse me, and <laughs> Travis keeps doing nothing, then Tyga might get a future with Kylie that he clearly wants. Could you see these two getting back together ever? I could see them getting back together, especially mm -hmm. because her break with Travis, I mean, her separation from Tyga and then like her relationship with Travis, everything was so quick, it happened so fast. And if Tyga really is volunteering like himself and these services for her right. as much as he is, <laughs> I mean, how else can you describe it? He's well, not- the... I mean, he's volunteering to be a chauffeur, Kylie. Like, <laughs> yeah, and like a step-in baby daddy, apparently. Yeah. Maybe she would appreciate that. It, it is nice of him, I just think it's weird and he needs to take a step back. Yeah, I mean, 
her and Travis have had a rocky relationship. They just started dating and then found out they're having a baby together. So I could see why maybe she would slip back into wanting to be like comfortable with Tyga. Right. But I'm just like, wow, that would be one way to come back on the grid. Like, oh, hey, I have a baby. And guess what? Tyga and I are back together. And yeah. then all of our minds would just explode. <laughs> We'd have a lot to talk about then. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, now on to this Logan Paul nonsense. So. We all know that Logan Paul has been through the ringer since he dropped that infamous Japan Suicide Forest vlog. It's been deleted, obviously. He's lost a lot of things. He's lost fans, respect. His deal with YouTube has kind of changed. Um, but apparently he hasn't lost his ability to inspire people because mm. the vlog has inspired two new video games. Yeah, just let that uh, process your Why? Brain. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. News Hub reports that there, like I said, have been two indie game parodies based off the video. One of those comes from a hosting service called Game Jolt. Um, it's still up, still up. I checked it this morning. It's titled Logan Paul Suicide Forest. News Hub reports that in the game, you play Logan and are to search for bodies in the forest. The point of the game is to get millions of views on your YouTube channel. Sound familiar? And apparently, the player must also be careful in the forest because it risks becoming a dead body itself. Okay. I like I'm not yes. Yeah. Like okay, I I actually reported that Logan Paul, you know, came out with that video um uh promoting awareness. yes. Mm -hmm. like, thank you. I was You're struggling welcome. with my words. <laughs> um and I do appreciate that and I think that he does deserve a second chance, but to see that this vlog is now living on in games, yeah. it trivializes the entire issue again. Mm -hmm. I just think I can't believe it. No, and there's another one too. It's called Logan Paul Suicide Force Run and this one the player must try and collect coins, which are the equivalent to likes and views on social media. With this game, the player must also try to avoid death as Logan is running through a forest of nooses. Uh, so, I, don't know I what mean, to honestly, say. there's no it's horrible. line or there's no news that Logan Paul is like directly involved with any of this. I don't right. think he is. No. However, it just goes to further prove that just doing this in general was bad. And look at the chaos it's created. Yeah. I just, it's not good. I don't know how much blame you can put on him, but kind of part of me thinks like a lot of blame. I mean, he, it wouldn't have happened if he didn't post that vlog. Right. That's true. That's true. All right, you guys, let us know what you think about this Logan Paul stuff because our minds are blown clearly. We are at a loss for words because I just can't even believe that we're reporting on that today. Um, and last but not least, tell us what you think about Fifth Harmony, who you think is going to win, all the battles that are going down on Lip Sync Battle, and what do you think about Tyga still being in love with Kylie Jenner, plus the fact he thinks that he might be the father of her child. Wow. Talk about all those things down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you here tomorrow on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind.